right? We love our Friday show because we get to find out what's at the box office and what is streaming mm. and all those titles, uh, which ones are actually worth watching. That's important, right? To not waste your time. And <laughs> here is our friend to the show every Friday, Dale Pollock joining us live now. He's here for those reviews. Dale, you're going to talk about three titles that we can find on streaming platforms. Great to see you. Great to see you, Audrey and Brian. Thanks so much for always being here with us. So let's first talk about Dear Edward. This is on <laughs> Apple TV Plus. Yes, and at first this seems like a very depressing series because it's about, it opens with a plane crash that kills three of the four members of a family. Oh. The only survivor is an 11 year old son, Edward. Oh. And this young actor, Colin O'Brien, is just amazing. The camera is on his face, it seems, for almost the entire series. All the emotions he's experiencing, loss, regret, looking for love. He, Taylor Schilling from Orange is the New Black plays his aunt who tries to become a mother figure. This series really pulled me out emotionally. And by the end, you just are so moved by it. And it's going to come back for a second season. So go past the depressing ac uh, aspect of someone surviving a fatal accident and then look at the mind and emotions of this young boy. It's just a really moving experience. I do like emotional shows too. So I think I would like this still. I'm glad that you were honest about that. I'm gonna guess four popcorns. Four popcorns, one of the better four. series I've seen recently. Yeah, yes. oh, that's great. Yeah, fantastic. You know, I saw a preview for this. Um, I was probably watching Ted Lasso on Apple TV Plus <laughs> when I saw a preview for this. It, it did look really, really good. I didn't realize the backstory about the, the plane crash, so this should be really, really interesting. Yeah. All right, thank you for that one, Dale. Let's talk about that uh, dirty black bag on AMC Plus. <laughs> Well, you know, the Western isn't dead yet. <laughs> and that dirty black bag gives you a good reason that it should keep on going. It's basically a series about a bounty hunter, I think. There were series about bounty hunters in the past. Clint Eastwood might have played one in his early days. But this guy carries all of the heads in a black bag. And that's the black bag of the title. He's carrying around the heads of the prisoners he's executed. And so you have a, a hero here who is pretty flawed and then he meets a lot of worse guys. So he ends up becoming a kind of hero. This series really goes in a different direction for a Western. I, I was constantly surprised by it. The characters shift around. And it, it's if you enjoy this genre, it's an interesting twist on it. It's not the greatest Western. It's not the greatest series. But if you like this genre, it is very entertaining. And there is some suspense to it in terms of what's going to happen to the main character. The series ended on a very open note. Nothing was concluded. So my guess is they're going to bring it back for a second season to resolve some of the issues that were set up in season one. But even if they don't bring it back, it's still an enjoyable watch if you like Westerns. Okay. You know, it's funny because when you think, of, I mean, I know Hollywood over the last couple of decades has tried to bring back Westerns, but mostly in movies and not so much right. in series. I mean, Silverado is one of my favorite movies, Dale. Um, we're seeing now that you gave it three popcorns. I'm glad to see that you liked it that much. I did. And again, it's nice to see a Western back on TV and yeah. not just on Screen. That okay. title whew, could really be. Misleading. I'm sure that's a pretty yeah. dirty black bag. Yeah, with all the heads. <laughs> yes, it is. Something. By the end of the series, it's pretty filthy. <laughs> oh, okay. Lastly, War Sailor. This is on Netflix. Yes, this film is shot up in the rankings of Netflix. I saw it when I was screening foreign films for the Academy Awards. It's a very powerful film about a sailor who is on a merchant ship. He's Norwegian. His best friend is on the ship with him. And all of a sudden, Germany invades Norway. And they're merchants, but they're Norwegian. So the German submarines begin to target them. Hmm. It's a very exciting film. And what's interesting about it, it doesn't all take place on the ship. Half the series concerns the sailor's wife and children. And what she does becomes very questionable, puts their marriage in jeopardy, and we really are in suspense as to what's going to happen by the end. Of course, we know that the Nazis are eventually defeated and they're driven out of Norway. But there's also very tense moments on the ship and the submarine that's targeting. So I think War Sailor, you know, how many films about a Norwegian sailor in World War II? 
This has rocketed to the top of Netflix's rankings, and I understand why. It's very entertaining, it's suspenseful, and it's different than the usual war series. Well, I can't guess what you're going to give popcorns. Three popcorns on this one, because, you know, you got to care about World War II and the Norwegians and Nazis, so it's not light entertainment, but it is an entertaining, suspenseful movie that illuminates a part of the war we were pretty much unaware of. Okay. Wow, I okay. Didn't even realize Norway was involved uh, way back then. There we so, go. There you go. This okay, is why we always appreciate Dale's insight. Yes. And for everyone at home, those titles, again, if you'd like a reminder, are on your screen now. Dear Edward on Apple TV+, Plus, That Dirty Black Bag on AMC+, Plus, and War Sailor on Netflix. And you can always find more reviews like these and a whole lot others on Dale's website, dalempollock.com.